Holiday just got off the stagecoach. Do you want me and some of the boys to come along with you? Why do you ask that? Well, I certainly wouldn't want to fool around with him alone. I don't blame you. But I'm not going to make any trouble for Doc Holiday. He's my best friend. As long as I'm sheriff around here, the place is his. Gosh, I'm glad to see you. Doc, how are you? You're looking plenty sassy. Well, you wintered kind of fat, didn't you? What are you doing over this way? Well, for one thing, I want to have a little talk with you. And the other is this. Have you seen anything of a little strawberry roll? Somebody steal your horse? Yeah. Cutest little fellow you ever saw. Mean as mean, but I dote on him like he was pure rock candy. <laughs> <laughs> What are you laughing at? Jokes on whoever done it. First time I ever felt sorry for a horse thief. Did you hear he was headed this way? Yeah. Oh, uh, put that on the table in there. What are you going to have, Pat? Well, I started with rye. I don't see no cause to change. Where you been keeping yourself? Well, mostly across the border. That's what I want to see you about. I, uh, I need a little money, and I thought maybe you might want to come in with me. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, what's the matter? I'll let you have the money. But if the deal is anything like that last one of yours, you better not tell me about it. Why not? Where'd you get that thing? Oh, they stuck it on me a couple of weeks ago. You're the last man I ever thought would be so easily satisfied. Well, man's got to settle down sometime. Uh, say, Mike, did you see anything of a strange strawberry roan? Strawberry roan? Yeah, about 13 hands high and cute as a bug's ear. Seems to me I did see one about that size. Yeah, when I came on duty. Where? Up in front of the dentist's place. Yeah, where's that? I'll show you. I'm only going to tell you once more. You put that glass on top of your head. But what are you going to do then? Just put it up on your head. I'll show you. Best thing in the world for that dandruff of yours. Wait a minute, Doc. Hello, Fred. Hello, Pat. You're, you're still using that one, Ann. My old standby. Never has failed yet. How many fingers do you see, Fred? Well, I guess I'd better take Fred over to the jail. Let him sober up there. You go ahead, Doc. The dentist's place is just up the street near the corner. I'll be along in a minute. you got here, Sonny? I think so. Where'd you get him? Bought him in Santa Fe Springs. Why? Somebody stole him from me in Socorro. 
If it wasn't for those two guns, I'd say you were starting in pretty young. You think it was me? You haven't told me any different. I ain't going to. My name's Holiday. Doc Holiday? Yeah. I've heard of you. Thanks. I don't want to take advantage of you. Thanks for a while. I thought it'd be the other way around. What's your name, son? Barney. William Barney. Billy the Kid, huh? Still think I stole your horse? How much you pay for him? Wouldn't do any good if I told you. Why not? I like this little horse, and I've got kind of used to it. So have I. I don't blame you. Just like sitting in a rocking chair. Now, look, son. I hear you're pretty good, Doc. That's what I hear about you. All right. You mind standing away from the front of that horse? Pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? No sense in going to all this trouble for nothing. That's right. Hello, Doc. Any luck? Yes and no. What do you mean? It's your horse, ain't it? It was. Say, you're a cool one. Better get you over to the Hooskow before this gets around. Come along. Uh, thanks, Doc, for being so forbearing and all. All right, Pat. See why I left off is just a kid. I told you to come along. Didn't you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard you. You're not doing any better than I did. <laughs> Wait a minute, Pat. I'd like to make you acquainted with this young man. Uh, Billy, this is an old friend of mine, Pat Garrett. Pat, this is uh, Mr. William Bonney. William Bonney. Well, well. I've been wanting to meet you for a long time. How are you, Billy? Hey, Pat. How many fingers do you see? <laughs> you ought to use that only on your friend. While you two are talking, I better put my horse away. Back up, boy. Oh, I hate you. Hold it, Pat. Come fly out the handle. Nice little horse, ain't he, Doc? <laughs> Remember me? Where's Mr. Gear? I sent him home. How about you and me having a little talk? I don't believe in talk. Unless the other fellow holds all the cards... Sonny, that head of yours sure is screwed on tight. If it wasn't, somebody would have knocked it off long ago. I guess that's right. Say, how did you know Pat was going to hit you out there? Well, it's the first time a sheriff ever wanted to shake hands with me. He heard you say shake hands. Huh? <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Horace? I'm pleased to meet you. Well, I'll swear. I didn't know he could do tricks. What else can he do, Doc? You back up there and I'll make him walk over and take those gloves right out of your belt. Over that way a little. I'll back a little farther. That's far enough, kid. Put your hands up. All right, Doc. This is something new for you, ain't it? What? Being arrested for horse stealing. Doc, you know I didn't steal that horse any more than you did. Billy, many a true word is spoken in jest. This is something new for you, too, isn't it, Doc? Yeah, what's that? The great Doc Holiday, getting someone else to help him. And a policeman at that. I can hardly believe it. And after the way I've heard people talk about you, ever since I was in short pants. That's enough of that. Turn around. Now walk out that door. Oh, wait a minute, Pat. Why? Well, this thing don't seem to sit right on my stomach no how. What? Doc. 
You're not going to back out on me. I'm afraid I am, Pat. I'd never hear the end of this. Hold on. I'm not through with you yet. Step aside, Doc. You may shoot me in the back. They tell me that's the way you've given it to some of the boys. No, Pat, that's a pretty strong thing to say. I never heard anything like that. Well, Mr. Garrett, if you believe that, here's your chance to do the same to me. Come in, Doc. I think I will. I want the two of you out of this town by sundown. Well, what did I do? That's all right, Doc. You've got the right to choose your friends. Shucks. I don't take kindly to that at all. He knows there's no stage until tomorrow. And he knows that I'm afoot. Or am I? Not by a darn sight. You mean that, son? Sure. We'll dig you up another horse somewhere. Son, I got room to the hotel. If I could, I see you a minute. Oh, well, sure. You might as well cash me in. All right. What's on your mind, son? No offense, dog, but that last ace you just drew. Yeah? What about it? I got a feeling I saw it on the bottom of the deck. Are you sure? I wouldn't have asked you if I was. <sighs> That's where you showed good sense. Here you are, Doc. Oh, six hundred and forty. Thanks. Huh. Yeah, you could have paid three or four times for the horse and still saved money. That's right. Hope you're satisfied now. You going to turn in? Yeah, I think I will. I'll walk down to the hotel with you. Good night, gents, and thanks. Good night. Good night. Doc, if you're not already fixed up, you can bump with me tonight. No, thanks, Billy. I've got a girl. She and her aunt just moved in town. Yeah? You got a girl, Billy? No. I ain't got nothing. Except that horse. You can't fool me, good-looking boy like you. You must have a girl somewhere. No. I don't trust him. Hey, you're pretty young to talk like that. Well, I've known quite a few. They all did you dirt, eh? Every one of them. Yeah. Every one of them. That's too bad, Billy. I guess things haven't been so easy for you, have they? Tell you what I'm going to do. Since that little horse means so much to you, I'm going to make you a present of it. 
That's awful nice of you, Doc. Thanks a lot. All right, Millie. Good night. See you in the morning. Good night, Doc. I'd say good night, the little horse. Well, if you're all through, you might as well put him back in his stall. All right. Good night, Red. See you tomorrow. What? No kiss? No, he don't like mush. All right, back in your stall, Red. Hey, that's my tobacco, isn't it? I think it is. You don't mind if I take that, do you? I think I'll bunk right here tonight. If you don't object. me for. Hey, are you crazy? Stop. Cut it out, do you hear? Can you understand English? Can you? Yes. What's your name? Real. What's the rest of it? McDonald. McDonald. Oh, 
Where'd you come from? What do you care? Where'd you live before you came here? It's Cora. McDonald. Oh, yeah. Who was he? My brother. Well, he shouldn't have taken so much tequila. What became of the girl? She married another fellow two weeks afterwards. Well, that's the way it is. How'd I know he was your brother? It was him or me. And I didn't lay for him in no barn, neither. Sorry I was so rough with you. You didn't hurt me. Sure. It's too bad I didn't know. What? He was your brother. What's that got to do with it? Well... Maybe I wouldn't have tried so hard to get the other girl. Oh, you wouldn't. What's the matter? There's a rock under here. Here, let me fix it. Still, lady, or you won't have much dress left. Let me go! He did not. I say did. He did. Did you really hear him holler? Sure I did. How did I? Then that ain't Billy the Kid. Well, shucks, a dentist can make anybody holler. Look out, here he comes. Sorry to keep you waiting, Doc. I'm in a hurry. Say, mister, you're Billy the Kid, ain't you? That's what they tell me. She wanted to tell you. Hey, you know, you're the Hey, wait a minute, one at a time. Have you really got 20 notches in your gun? Is it true you got 13 Indian scalps in your war bag? I had to throw them away. Why? The malls got to them. Boy, you should have tanned them. That's the best way to keep them. Is that a fact? That's what my pa told me. What are you doing with that piece of willow, son? Trying to make a whistle, but I can't get the bark off. Have you soaked it? I sucked it till I'm near dry. Can't you shoot the insides out? Yeah, can you? Yeah. Put up on that post. Can I hold it? Can you hold it steady? Sure. <laughs> Billy, you don't have to prove anything to me. Sorry, Doc. Turn the end up a little. A little more. A little more. Don't you ever have to bother to take aim? Sure, I took aim. When? Before I drew. Look, Billy, it's all right. You fixed it fine. Thanks. Glad to help. If there's anything I can do for you, Billy, just let me know. All right, I sure. Bye, Billy. That's a new one on me. What's that? Aiming before you draw. I've got to. Why? My hand seems to be a little quicker than my eye. You ain't that too bad. Where'd you get the horn? I bought this one. <laughs> Looks all right. He'll do for the time being. Ham and eggs. Fry the eggs on both sides. I'll take the same. Mine straight up. How about a cold hand while we're waiting? How much? How's that? It's me. Before you get started, I'd like to speak to you for a minute. Who is he? I don't know. What do you want? Let's go in the back room. Why? You don't know me, but we have a mutual friend. Yeah, who? And I don't like him any better than you do. Oh, Garrett, eh? The name sounds familiar. Figure on staying in town tonight? Why? Well, everybody knows that Garrett told you to get out of town. Sooner or later, you're going to have a little trouble with him. I thought I might give you a hand. 
That's very kind of you, mister. <laughs> Listen, I ain't doing you no favor. That'll be a pleasure. Now, what I figure is, while he's arguing with you, he won't be watching anyone else. So it'll be a cinch for me. Be careful you don't knock me over with the same bullet. Don't worry, I'll stand at an angle. I'll do it like this. Now, uh, suppose this chair is Garrett there. And if you're standing about where you are, why, I'll be over here. Do you mind if I draw my gun so you can see the line of fire? No, go right ahead. Come on in, Doc. Well, what happened? He's a pretty smart hombre. Do you know him? Yes, he's been hanging around trying to talk Garrett into giving him a job as a deputy. Yeah, well, I guess he figured if he got Billy, he'd be such a hero, he could have the deputy job. Or run for governor if he wanted it. You better get out of here, son. Why? He pulled on me first. It's going to be hard to make Garrett believe that. Well, we'll see. My dough. Well, I guess I must have picked it up. You're foolish to stick around, son. I think I'd be a whole lot more foolish to pull out than Jerry to be sure that was my fault. Come on, cut the deal. What you mean is you want to play poker, huh? That's right. Doc, you're not worried about me if I tangle with Garrett, are you? That's pretty good. I know I'm better than you do. All right, if you're so good, then you'll get your horse back, won't you? Say, I never thought of that. What's the matter? Huh? Nothing. Lend me a hundred, Doc. Sorry, son. I never lend money in a poker game. Spoils my luck. But I'd be glad to have you put up the little horse for a hundred. I guess you would. Are you in there when it happened? No. But listen, Pat, he pulled on Billy first. How do you know? His gun was on the floor. That don't prove nothing. Pat, you've got an ugly temper and you're letting it get the best of you. You have no right to hold Billy for this killing and you know it. You just saw it and that's all. Doc, I'm going to give you a chance to stay out of this. Thanks. Your horse is outside. Go on, get on him. Good luck to you, Doc. Same to you, Pat. Well, what are you waiting for? 
He's waiting for those chickens of yours to hatch. Are you going to put up a fight? I'll tell you one thing, Gary. I ain't going to jail for no killing I was pushed into. I still think that fella pulled first on Billy. Are you thrown off on me again? No. Then what do you call it? Well, uh, since I figured that this is purely a personal matter between you and Billy, uh, I don't think you ought to bring in all this uh, hired help. Well, I only did that to keep Billy from putting up a fight. So I wouldn't have to kill him. Do you, uh... Stuffed birds, too. You're making a big mistake, Doc. Turning on an old friend. All because of a little snip who's never given anybody nothing except the back of his hand. Speaking of hands. Come on, let's get out of here before this hothead makes us plug him. He ain't gonna run me out of town. All right, if you want to hold the fort while I ride off on your little horse, it's all right with me. Well, since you put it that way. Go ahead, son. Pat. Doc, this finishes you and me for good and all. I'm sorry. Can you get up, son? I don't know. Can you make it to the horse? I think so. Did? Pulling me out like that? He's a regular bird dog. Say, I gotta get you under cover someplace. Oh, I'm all right. Charlie, you better stay here and have a look around town. That kid's got a bullet in him. He ain't going very far. Let's go. that yelling. Doc! Get these horses out of sight. This 
Billy the Kid. He's got a bad one on the left side, but the bullet didn't hit anything vital and came out from the back. Don't move him at all, no matter what you have to do, or the bleeding will start again. And I guess you better cut his clothes off. Put a bandage on the wound and see that it's always moist. Keep him warm and dry, no matter how much he sweats. If he gets a chill, he's a goner. If he goes out of his head, tie him down. The neighbors hear him yelling, well, tell him your aunt's got the smallpox. That'll keep him away. Guess that's all. Now, do your best for this boy. If I can't come back, I'll send word where I am. And Billy can bring you along. Raised like a baby. He's so hot. He's no hotter than your brother who he was. He's soaking wet again. Get me some sheets and what, Loopy? Get them yourself. What's the matter with you? I would lift a finger for him. Looking for him around here. Well, ain't that too bad? Chico, what's the matter with you? He smells the blood. He was just getting ready to peck his eyes out. You stay out of here. Your name McDonald? What do you want to know for? What's the matter? Why don't you want to tell me? Yes, that's my name. Why? Was your father's name Angus? Yes. Well, my name's Woodruff. Charlie Woodruff. I used to work for him when he was town marshal at Socorro. Oh, yes. I, I, I guess I was a little girl then. Charlie. I want to look at him. Well, thank you, sir. You're getting fatter than big. <laughs> what are you doing up here? I've been working with the sheriff. By the way, we're looking for Billy the Kid. If you should happen to hear anything... Get out of here. <laughs> Why don't you come in and sit down for a minute? Some other time. I'll drop in the first chance I get. <laughs> What's wrong with that bird? Oh, nothing. I have a hand setting under the bed, and he likes to peck at her. Want me to get him out of there for you? Oh, no. Everything's all upset in there. We just got up. Goodbye. I'm glad to have seen you. Same here. So long, Aunt Guadalupe. I'll walk down a ways with you. Oh, no, you won't. Lunch is all ready. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll fix you. Billy. Looks like he's having a chill. A chill? Yes. 
stop a thing like this. You're mad at me. No. Sure. No, I'm not. How do you hide from me? I'll be right back. Where's that bottle of whiskey? I finished it. The time I had that bad cough. I tried those hot stones with a Julio, but it was just the same. He shook like a leaf till he died. You get out of here and shut the door. Get out of here. Have you gone crazy? You can bring the minister here in the morning if it'll make you feel better about it. Now get out. You're not going to die. I'll get you warm. can't stand this pace much longer. I guess I'll just have to slow those boys down a little. It's none of my affair, Pat, but we crossed the county line ten minutes ago. That's right, Swanson. It's none of your affair. trying to figure this out. How'd I get here? Doc brought you. Doc? Oh. Are you Doc's girl? Well, what do you know about that? Be careful. You're wound. You'll hurt yourself. That's right. I remember now. I caught one yesterday, didn't I? Yesterday. A month ago. You've been terribly sick. A month? That's a long time. How's Red? Red? Have you been taking good care of him for me? Who's Red? Didn't Doc leave my horse here? No. Well, I'll swear. I didn't think he'd do a thing like that. Behind my back, too. Is he all right again? Say, who's this old lollipop? It's 
my Aunt Guadalupe. Oh, Lupe, come on, stop. You haven't got a ham sandwich on you by any chance, have you? You hungry? I don't think we have anything cooked except some beans. That'll do for a starter. Hey, Lollipop. Hey, you don't talk like a sick man. You said I was. What does that lollipop mean? Something sweet. Sweet? Mm-hmm. Sweet. Like candy, you know, dulce. Oh. Is that a fact? Where are you going? Oh, to see if I can find a fresh egg or two. How do you feel? Fine. When do we eat? He just had lunch about an hour ago. Honest? Will you bring me my clothes? I want to get up and have a look around. What for? Well, I can't spend the rest of my life in bed. Anyway, I want to see if I can find my ring. Your ring? Yeah. I had a ring on this finger and it's gone. I've been sort of worried about it. You must be upset about a thing like that. You can always get another one, can't you? Well, this one's been kind of lucky for me. Belonged to a fellow who's supposed to have had a charm life, as long as he kept it on his finger. Well, then how did you get it? Did you kill him? No. Somebody else did that. Oh. Well, then the ring wasn't so lucky for him after all, was it? Well... Nothing happened to him until he took it off to wash his hands. No, no, you better not get up till tomorrow. You said that yesterday. But you're not strong enough yet. Who says I'm not? Billy, you mustn't. You'll hurt yourself. Then why don't you quit wrestling with me? you to go down to the store with me. I have some washing to do. You've got all afternoon to do it. Come on. I have to fix my hair first. All right, hurry up then. Why do you have to go with her? I better. What if somebody should come by? Like that deputy sheriff friend of yours the other day. Yes, that's right. I'll go tell Aunt Guadalupe. Never know it. I thought I'd have to break the door down. 
It's the rain, Doc. I, I couldn't hear a thing, Doc. You don't need to yell so loud. I'm not deaf. Did you ever see such a storm and it's been going on like this for three or four days, Doc? It's lucky for me, the only way I could shake those bloodhounds. Washed out all your tracks, huh? Henry? First sit down I've had since I left here. How's Billy? Oh, he, he's fine. Sure, he, he's been up almost a week now. Good. Where's Leo? Leo? Oh, yes. Oh, so that's what all the yelling's about, eh? I'm going to call her. Now, wait a minute. You made enough noise now to raise the dead. So that's it. All right. Where is he? He's getting dressed. Well, maybe I better give him a hand. No, no, Doc. Please let me talk to you first. What got into you? Were you drunk? What happened to you? I don't know. He's a devil. He did the same to me. He can charm a bird right out of a bush. Yes. Or, uh... I never saw it to fail. Don't talk that way, Doc. What do you want me to say? Bless you, my children? You might as well. Huh? I'm married to him. To what? That's the truth, Doc. Only please don't tell him. Tell who? Billy. You mean to say he doesn't know it? No. And how could you be married to him? He was out of his mind. I never would have done it, only I thought he was going to die. And so he would have, if it hadn't been for you. I don't want his gratitude. I guess I should have stayed out in the rain with the chef. Make me a cup of coffee. Sure, Doc, sure. It's a good thing you don't want his gratitude. Why do you say that? You know, when I come to think of it, after what you've done to me, I couldn't wish for anything better than you hooking up with Billy. What do you mean? Oh, I, I wouldn't want to spoil it for you. Hello, Doc. Is that all you've got to say to me? Now, look here, Doc. I'm sorry, but it's your own fault. Oh, my fault, eh? Who brought me here? You know you want to switch the blame on me. First you take my horse and then my girl, and both times it's all my fault. That reminds me of something else. You ran away with Red, didn't you? Think that's any excuse? It was good enough for me. There's only one trouble with it. What's that? The horse was mine, too. I wasn't in much shape to argue that with you, was I? No, I guess you weren't. But you didn't have much use for that horse lying flat on your back, or did you? All right, Doc. If that's your way of looking at it. You just took the loan of him, so to speak. Say, hey, what are you getting at? Yes, that's what I'd like to know. You borrow from me, I borrow from you. What does that mean? Let's have a cup of java. We better be getting out of here, huh, Doc? Not at those prices. 
All right, Doc. I'll tell you what I'll do. What's that? Well, just to show you my heart's in the right place. I'll let you take your pick. Huh? You mean you'd trade me for a horse? It's up to Doc. After all, I've got to think of the other fella, you know. I appreciate that, Billy. I sure do. Billy, you don't mean that. And after all she did for you. Say, you should have seen what that little horse did for me. Huh, Doc? That's right. I uh, hope you won't think too hard of me, but uh, under the circumstances, I'm going to take the horse. You are? You're not satisfied? Listen, Doc. I like that little horse. What did I tell you? Huh? I still can't believe it. What are you talking about? Nothing. Say, what's eating you? Nothing. Here, uh, fill these with fresh water. The creeks are muddy as all get out. How about grub? Can you spare us enough flour and bacon to get us to Fort Sumner? Sure, sure not. Hey, it's clearing up. You better be getting out of here. Let me some dough, will you? How much do you want? About 50 bucks. Here's 40. <laughs> Buy yourself a horse and buggy. Don't you think it's too much? You can give Aunt Guadalupe 20 if you want. If we get located in Fort Summer, I'll send for you. What for? I can't stand ranch cooking. Here you are, Doc. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye, Doc. Bye, Lollipop. Bye, Billy. Take care of yourself. You do the same. Hello, you old hay bag. Have you missed me? Say, he's thin as a rail. He's been getting a little exercise. Where'd you get that plug? I wore out that black horse I had, so I traded him to a sheep herder for this one. He's all right. A little wild yet. Come on.
met a sweetheart? I'm going to let you have the loan of them for a little while. Huh? Until you get your strength back. Say, you're not going to do me any favors. What's the matter with you? I don't want to be obligated to you about Red. Why not? Because I haven't given up getting Red back yet. Any more than I've given up getting on this honorary goat. anything of mine you don't cotton to? I guess I forgot. Yeah, it's a bad habit you've got. What? Forgetting what belongs to other people. You think I did on purpose? Yes. Listen, mister, I don't feel any too good as it is. Neither do I. You want to make something out of it? That's a big advantage you're taking. I can't help it. I'm so plumb beat out, I'll be lucky if I can draw them clear. Well, I don't want to crowd a sick man. I'm all right. Just give me 40 winks and I'll take you on with both hands free. Well, I guess this is a good place to make camp. There's no water. No, and you won't find any between here and Fort Sumner. It's a long ways off. When we get there, our friend the sheriff won't be far behind. Huh? Mm -hmm. How do you know it's him? I could tell him farther off than that. He wouldn't be coming after two of us alone. Maybe he's lost too many of his friends. How come you didn't knock him over? Or did you try? Did I? That's what I said, did you? <laughs> didn't do nothing else. Who do you suppose put him on our trail? Well, maybe somebody saw us pulling out. Or, uh, or what? Nothing. Sure, she was the one. Yeah, Rio. Why do you suppose she had to up and do a thing like that? Well, women are funny. Hey, go easy on that water. We've only got two canteens to get us to Fort Sumner. Matter. Look. Sweet spirits of night. The little darling put sand instead of water. Now, that sure is one for the book. Well, no use hanging around here holding postmortems. Let's get going. Another drink. What are you talking about? You didn't have one in the first place. No, but I had the same notion about an hour ago. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but it won't do you any good. Take my advice. What? Killing a woman. Why not? Ah, uh, they're all alike. There isn't anything they wouldn't do for you. To you. I 
Why didn't you wake me up? We should have got started long ago. Keep him up. Oh, hello, Pat. Where's Billy? Looks like he left you. And on my horse, eh? Try those on. Oh, you know me, Pat. Do I have to put these things on? I know you. Put them on. Pretty smart putting sand in those canteens. I had to give you something for your money, didn't I? Oh, I see. So you sent the sheriff after us for good measure, huh? No wonder he came along. All he had to do was take his time and wait for the sun to finish us off. Then how did you get back? It was pretty tough. But the more I thought about seeing you, darling easier it got. What are you waiting for? Go ahead. Say, that sounds real nice. I like to hear you ask for it. Keep it up. Beg some more. What would you like me to say? Well, you might say please very sweetly. Please. Will you keep your eyes open? Yes. Will you look right at me while I do it? Everybody drinks but me. I'm supposed to be a camel, huh? You want a drink, you can climb down and get it. Hey, did you hear something? What kind of a track is that? I don't know. Too small for a man. There's another one. A couple over there.
try him. Ain't it, Doc? Well, if he's fool enough to come back, he ought to get himself caught. I told you not to breathe so loud. All right, all right. How do you like it? Hmm, I thought I tied it tighter than that. You came back. You don't think I did on your account, do you? You didn't. You see anything of Doc and the Sheriff? Here we are, Billy, right behind you. I put those hands where they belong. Say, why didn't you tip me off? Hurry up with that grub. I want to get back to town before dark. Well, I've only got two hands. Well, why don't you use both of them? I'll use one on you in a minute. I wouldn't put it past you. Now's your chance for me all trussed up like a chicken. Here we are together again. Same old happy family. Yeah, and I'd have been halfway to Fort Summer by now if it hadn't been for you. Me? Yeah, you. Give me a cigarette. Yeah, you mean her. Rio. Say, are you out of your mind? Why don't you come out and admit it like a man? Admit what? You didn't know that Pat had caught me until you got back to our camp, did you? No. Then what's the use of coming after us? Why not? Well, we'd have been cleared of Lincoln before you even got back here. Say, mister, what are you trying to make out? Well, I heard you say once you didn't like ranch cooking, so I guess you figured you'd better come back and get real. Oh, you're daffy. I wouldn't come back two inches to get her. You did. I tell you, I didn't. Actions speak louder than words. Do they? All right, I'll show you how much I care about her. If you want her back, you can have her and welcome. Now, what do you think about that? I don't want her. Cattle don't graze after sheep. Sheep? Sheep, did you say? I didn't say goats or monkeys. Why, are you... Ah, sit down. <laughs> Have your business. Careful, young fellow. You want it now? I've just been waiting for an excuse like this. Hey! I'll fix you up. Never mind fixing any more food. We're leaving now. Come on. Let me get a drink first. All right, hurry up. Hey, Rio. Come here and hold my hand so I won't fall in.
You're all right now. Come on. You figure you're taking us back to Lincoln, ain't you? Where'd you think I was taking it? It's over that way, ain't it? Sure, it's over that way. What are you getting at? Take a look. Hey, Doc. Escaleras are out early this year. They're talking about us, ain't they? Yeah, they're... They're tipping off another hunting party that must be out somewhere. Right over there. Hmm. On both sides of us. Well, I guess our best chance is to hightail it to Fort Sumner. Don't figure on me doing much hightailing. Why not? I ain't no acrobat. Well, I hope you fellas left sense enough to behave yourselves. Why, sure, Pat, certainly. Sure, Pat. Don't. That's your horse over there. Who says so? I say so. Get on him and hurry up. Rio, you ride the paint. Thanks. Hey, Red's my horse. I know he is, but I'm going to ride him. this. Looks like some of those mescaleras are ahead of us, too. No, no, you, you better not come over here, Rio. Why not? They put the fire on them. Those mescaleros sure do play for keeps. Say, what's that? It's a good-sized party. We'll be knee-deep in them in a minute. Look over there, too. Hey, what are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I want my gun. Oh, now, wait a minute. You're not going to argue at a time like this, Pat. Aren't you going to give us a chance? He'd like to see them put the fire on me. I sure would. What about her? No, we can't talk about it now. I want to know one thing. Do I have your solemn promise that you'll give them back when I ask for them? Sure. What do you think we are? Will you see to it that he does? Now, who's going to see to it that I do? I'll take your word for it. Where are my cartridges? Here you are. Now, what do we do? Make a stand or run for it? Can't make a stand here. I know something in my work. What is it? Come on, do exactly what I do.
I know this place. We're about 40 miles from Fort Sumner. Senor Garrett, what are you doing up this way? Hello, Pablo. Can you put us up for the night? Sure. Glad to have you. Go right in. My house is yours. I'll take care of the horses. Well, boys, I guess we're out of the woods now. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh. No, I, I, I wouldn't be too sure of that, Pat. Oh, yes, he's right, Pat. Those mescaleras don't give up so easy. This is very important. I want you to ride to Fort Sumner and give this note to the town marshal. Did he say town marshal? That's what it sounded like to me. Certainly is a beautiful night out. I think I'll take a little stroll. And, uh, gentlemen, just in case I shouldn't return before you retire, I'll say good night now. I think I'll go with you. Well, Billy, you've been pretty good to my little horse. And I guess the least I can do is to let you say goodbye to him. That's awfully nice of you, Doc. Oh, I always like to think of the other fellow. So if you just stand right here in this doorway and don't make no warlike moves, then you can wave farewell to him as we ride off. In other words, you think you're going to leave. I'm sorry, Pat. I, I hate to eat and run, but, uh, well, you know how it is. Listen, Doc. You're only wasting your time, Pat. Haven't you forgotten something? No, I don't think so. Good night, all. Say, Doc. Yes, what is it? I'm afraid you'll have to listen to me for a minute. Why? What if I don't feel like waving goodbye to Red? Oh, you still think you've got something to say about that horse, eh? Yes, I do. All right. Go ahead and say it. 
That's a pretty big advantage to give a man like you. Didn't you tell me that once? How's this? You don't have to go that far. Thanks. What about him? Will he leave us alone? Or do you think we ought to pull his teeth before we start? Don't worry about me. I wouldn't lift a finger, Doc, to keep you from killing him. You and me never had any trouble till he came along. He'll keep out of it. All right, son. I'm waiting. Put those plates down. You're making me nervous. Billy, he'll kill you. What do you care? But you can get another horse. I want this one. Why? I want to see if I can teach him to make smoke come out of his ears. Say, I haven't got all night. Get back against that wall. The Go on. And count up to three. I won't. You're out of your mind, both of you. How about you, Pat? Sure. I'll be glad to. You're too willing. I don't trust you. I think I'd rather have that cuckoo clock do the counting for me. Yeah, that's good enough. It's going to strike in a minute. Shall we pull on the last cuckoo? All right. Well, Billy, I guess this is it. Men are pretty much like children, after all. Have you ever seen two kids wrestling in the yard? They push and tussle, and maybe they look like they're fighting, but they're not. They're really friends, and everything's in fun. And pretty soon they play a little too rough. One of them gets mad. And in the end... Somebody always gets hurt. So for you and me, this is where somebody gets hurt. But when it's over, and however it turns out, son, no hard feelings. Dark. <laughs> Why didn't you draw? I changed my mind. Sure you did. You lost your nerve. I always knew you were nothing but a show off. Shut up. Why did you change your mind? Is this some trick of yours? No, I just don't feel like it. Maybe I ate too much. But some other night you will feel like it, eh? Who knows? That's no good, Billy. If you and I are bound to fight sooner or later, I'd rather do it now and have it over with. You've been ready to pull on me every day since I met you. I never wanted it, but I've waited and let you pick your own time and place. You've done that tonight. Are you going to draw or do I have to make you? You gonna fight? Or do you want me to nick your ears? Doc, have you gone local? What's the matter with you, Billy? I didn't think you'd take this off anybody. 
maybe I wouldn't off anybody else. What do you mean by that? Doc, don't listen to that kind of talk. Haven't you ever seen a case of cold feet before? He never had cold feet in his life. What is it, Billy? I guess that idea about the cuckoo clock wasn't so good. Why? Well, it gave me time to think and remember a few things. You're the only partner I ever had. Gosh, do you really feel that way, son? I treated you worse than anyone. Nah, it was all my fault. I, I had no business getting sore and cutting you up this way. Come on, let's get out of here. You know, we better split. Split? What for? Well, I wouldn't want to make Red care the both of us. Oh, don't worry. We'll find a better way than that to divide them up. So you can ride them out of here. No, I had him last. Mm, that's right, it come to think of it. you and me ever fighting now, Billy. Because one thing is certain. If we didn't do it tonight, we never will. Come on, let's go. Uh, so long, Pat. Don't take any wooden nickels. You're not going with him. Now, look here, you ain't going to start something with the two of us, are you? I might have known you'd do this to me. Ever since you met him, you've treated me like a dog. The very first day you signed up with him against me. And made me the laughing stock of the town. Take it easy. I gave you your guns, so you'd have a chance for your life. And now you tell me I've got to fight the two of you to get them back. You stand there, side by side with that little slip of a kid, against me, me, that was the oldest and best friend you ever had, and I still would be, if it wasn't for him. Say, mister, that's about enough out of you for one night. Wait a minute, Billy, you let me handle this. Pat is a friend of mine. I don't want to kill him, and I don't want you to kill him. Is that clear? Pat, you're just getting yourself all steamed up. I'll be seeing you one of these days, and we'll have a good laugh about all this. Not so long. Be careful. You know you haven't got a chance against me. Son, please don't do that. Oh, Doc, lie down. No. Why not? No, uh, that's one thing I've always been afraid of. What? Dying in bed. Why didn't you shoot? You had me beat a mile. You had me cold. Maybe I don't like cold meat, Pat. Go ahead. 
head. Go ahead what? Aren't you going to say something over, Doc? I don't know what to say. I never said anything over anybody I killed before. I think we ought to say something over, Doc. You better do it. So long, Doc. Pat, I want you to know I'm sorry. I honestly am. Last night I was ready to kill you. But in the daylight I can see things much better. You and Doc have been friends for years. If I hadn't come between you, none of this would have happened. It sure is funny how two or three trails can cross and get all tangled up. Well, go ahead. After you. Say, you don't think I'd shoot you in the back, do you? I don't know. But I ain't gonna tempt you. I don't think you're gonna be fool enough to try to do it from the front. You never trust anybody, do you? I apologize, Pat. Go ahead. <laughs> Where's Pat? He's still in the house. What's he doing? He's not going to try to stop you. How do you know? He told me so. Huh. Say, Billy, can I see you for a minute? What do you want? If that's the way you feel about it, never mind. At least I'm not afraid to turn my back on you. Here, hold these a minute. I thought you might like to have Doc's guns as a keepsake. Say, I sure would. Thanks, Pat. Thanks a whole lot. I never had an extra pair. Black holsters, too. They'd go nice with Sunday clothes if I ever get any. you think they'll suit you? If the barrels ain't too long. No, they're just the same. Be careful. They're loaded. 
That's right. Say, I think you're even better balanced than mine. Then how about letting me have yours? My guns? What for? If I had your guns, I could say it was you out there in that grave instead of Doc. Huh? You'd pass Doc off as me? Sure. Everybody would believe me once they saw Billy the Kid's six-shooters. You could leave an end to your trail right here. Nobody'd follow you up north. All your troubles would be buried, past and present. You and Rio could go off with nothing to worry about. How come you'd do a favor like that for me? There you go again, Billy. Distrusting a person who's trying to be decent to you. Don't you realize that's your whole trouble? Don't you see that's what's gotten you into all your fights? You've got more enemies than anybody in this part of the country. How do you expect to get along with people? When you think every man who holds his hand out to you has a knife behind his back. Son, I... I just don't know what's going to become of you. Honest, I don't. Oh, I didn't mean anything. I'm sorry. That's the spirit. That's my boy. Now give me those guns and clear out of here before it's too late. What's the matter? Nothing. But I've had these guns a long time. I sure hate to let go of them. Billy, I've been pretty patient with you. Uh -oh. Billy, my son. It's your duty to give them up. You owe it to yourself. You ought to start a new life today. Those guns are the badge of your shame. They represent everything you must leave behind you. Don't you realize that? Don't you understand that if you're going to start all over again, your hands must be clean? I guess you're right, Pat. I never thought of it like that. Thanks, Pat. Billy, you don't know what this means to me. You'll never forget this day. Goodbye, Pat. Why do you say that? Why shouldn't I? Why should you? You ain't going anywhere. Hmm? I took the firing pins out of those guns. Nothing would make me happier than for you to keep coming.
Uh, is that one of your own guns? It sure looks like it. How did you get it? You dirty little cheat! You switched those guns on me! Of all the dirty, rotten tricks! I, I didn't mean to, Pat. Honest, I didn't. They must have gotten mixed up while I was playing with them. I left my guns right there. What for? Didn't you say you'd have to show them to everybody to make people believe that story of yours? You see, I have an idea that you'd rather give Doc the credit for doing you up like this. Because I think you'd rather be dead than have people know Billy the Kid did this to you. Goodbye, Pat. You don't want to go off without your canteens, do you? Did you fill them up for me? Yes. Thank <laughs> you.